Today is Tuesday, September the 8th, 2015. My name is Ray Roberts, Managing Partner of the Academic Partnership, LLC. The Academic Partnership is an educational consultant firm providing academic solutions to schools throughout the world. Our current focus is in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, specifically in the cities of Damam and Riyadh. I'm happy to talk to you today about an outstanding opportunity to provide or to offer master's degrees to individuals, especially teachers, regardless of nationality, who are teaching or currently located in the cities of Riyadh and Damam. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the school offering the program and our relationship with the school. I'm going to talk to you about the offerings that we will provide under this master's program. And I will talk to you a little bit about the admissions. I'm going to read from uh, our agreement as to give you accurate information. So I may not look at this screen. I may have to read uh, to you some of the information. Again, this is to make, make sure that I'm providing you with accurate information. At the end of the video, I will also provide my contact information, my email, and my WhatsApp information uh, so you can fill any questions via WhatsApp or email or even our website. So I will give you the website information also. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the school offering the master's degree program. The school offering the master's degree program is Fort Hayes State University. Fort, State, Fort Hayes State University is a state school located in Hayes, Kansas that has been in operation educating individuals for 113 years. Currently they offer 91 undergraduate degrees and 43 graduate degrees. This is not the first time for Hay State has offered a cross borders program or an abroad program to individuals from another country. In fact, for Hay State has a program with schools in the People's Republic of China currently. Now, let's talk to you a little bit about the offerings. We will offer two uh, disciplines in the master's degree programs. So be this will be the opportunity uh, to select one of two programs. In the future we may offer more but for this first pilot program we're only offering two in, in the education discipline. The first will be a master's of science in education with an emphasis on ESOL. In ESOL. ESO is uh, English speakers of other languages. So, sp English speakers of other languages. Okay. Uh, in order to su successfully complete the ESO, the Masters in ESO, a student must first be admitted into Fort Hay State University's graduate program. Once you are admitted, and I will talk to you about the admission process uh, in a couple of minutes. But in order to successfully complete the master's degree in ESOL, you must complete 36 semester hours, 18 credit hours of core classes, and 15 credit hours of emphasis in ESOL. Okay, so that's 36 hours, uh, 36 semester credit hours that you must complete. Okay. The other offering that we will offer is the Masters in the Masters in uh, Leadership Studies. The Masters in Leadership Studies. Okay, and that program, in order to successfully complete that program you must complete 
31 hours. Get this right here. You must complete 31 credit hours. Okay? You must complete 31 credit hours in order to complete this program, the Masters in Leadership Studies. And again, this is an educational education degree. And so it's, that degree is uh, more for focus for individuals who want to be principals who are currently principals of schools. So if you're currently a principal or aspire to be in leadership in a school, this is the program that you would may consider uh, applying for. It's the master's, and that's a master's in leadership studies. Okay. Again, both are in the fields of education. And um, one is for mainly for teachers, classroom teachers, and the other one is for individuals who are administrators or aspire to be aspire to be administrators in the future. Okay. Okay. As a, let me repeat, the masters in ESOL, the in order to complete that course or that uh, that master's degree you need to complete successfully complete 36 credit hours in order to complete the master's in uh, leadership studies in education it's a uh, completion of 31 semester credit hours 18 core and uh, excuse me 10 core and 18 concentration classes okay Right. So that is what it's the requirements to successfully complete the master's degree program. Some people have asked me, well, how long would 36 hours take or 31 hours take? Uh, the way that the program is set, you will initially go through a, a, a pilot phase through the academic partnership at Fort Hayes State University after you, after you successfully complete that pilot phase and in that pilot phase you will earn three semester credit hours for that course after that you can take as long as you uh, wish or you can take as many credit hours as you wish um, towards successfully completing your master's program so it all depends on what your schedule, uh, the requirements, or the uh, uh, what you have in your schedule, what you are, what you are allowed to do in your schedule. Some people may be able to take the maximum of twelve credit hours per semester, which would be four classes. Some people may be only may be able to only take one credit, uh, one class, so three credit hours. Some may, some people may be able to only take two. So it really depends on you. The earliest you can complete, if you do the math, uh, a, a master's degree um, based on these requirements is about a year and a half. That's the earliest, um, given that you take the full maximum credit hours each semester. Okay? And that would, that would be for uh, the master's in ESOL. Okay? So let's talk a little bit about the admissions process. In order to be admitted in the program, uh, we would first have to complete an application uh, from Fort Hayes State University, which would be uh, a competitive process within our region here in Riyadh and Demam. I will only take we'll only take 35 students for the masters in ESOL. And we only take a maximum maximum of eight students for the masters in leadership in education. So there will be a pretty uh, competitive process for the master's degree program. Okay, so this is not a situation that if you just sign up you will be admitted. No, you have to apply. You would have to um, have proof of your bachelor's degree um, and let me talk a little bit about that I understand that there's some people 
here in Saudi Arabia that uh, because of your country's current political situation, it may be difficult for you to obtain your transcripts or impossible uh, because of uh, the political situation that is currently going on in your country. We will talk about those situations independently and I will try to advocate for you as best as we possibly can. Uh, however, you would still have to show some type of evidence and proof uh, that you meet the requirements set by Fort Hay State University. Okay? Individuals who do not have those challenges, again, um, we're, we're expecting you to meet um, all the standards that and all the requirements the school for Hay State is are asking, all the requirements that they're asking. So, in order, in order to um, successfully compete to get into the Masters of ESOL program, you must have a 2.75 GPA uh, from your last 60 credit under, undergrad, undergraduate credit hours. So your last 60 must uh, must equal a 2.75. The last 60. So if you uh, if you had if, if in your university there was a hundred you had a hundred credit hours, we will take the last 60, and if they come to 2.75, you will be in in, in the running. Um, for admissions into Fort Hay State, um, you must provide provide official transcripts, um, and um, you must also provide a personal statement addressing reasons for being interested in an MSc in ESOL. Okay, you must provide a copy of your passport, um, and we also will do a, a background check, which we can get completed here and you must have accept acceptable English language competency exams or scores so 79 6.5 on hours alright now here's here's where individuals who took our TESOL, our, our TESOL course will be uh, will benefit if you took our TESOL course um, you do not have to approve a TOEFL score of 79 or a IELTS score of 6.5. Uh, 6 if you have a TESOL or you have a CELTA, okay, you will not have to prove your English language competency. Now, if you're an American, American citizen or from an English native, uh, if you're an American citizen, you don't have to uh, prove your, competence, your English level competency at all. I'm talking about individuals who are not native English speakers. Okay, I'm talking specifically to individuals who are not native English speakers. So let me review. For the masters in ESOL, you must have a 2.75. You must have a 2.75. For I didn't mention the masters in in liberal arts study, uh, liberal arts studies, which is the uh, the leadership in the educational leadership masters you must have a 2.5 so a little bit lower for the principals alright so if you're a principal and you want your you want to seek or pursue a master's degree under this program your last 60 credit hours must be a 2.75 excuse me a 2.5 a 2.5 alright All right. now remember we're only taking 8 for the leadership Masters, and we're taking 35 for the ESOL Masters. Okay, so let's review one more time 2.75, the last 60 semester credit hours from your undergraduate degree for the Masters in ESOL, 2.5 for the Masters uh, in Liberal, Liberal Arts Studies. Uh, the Masters in, lead in Educational Leadership and Management, that's a 2.5. Okay, but we only take an 8. 8 for the Masters in Leadership, 35 for the Masters in ESOL. Okay, so one of the things that we will do is we will select the top 35. Now, somebody may ask, what happens if I don't get accepted into the top 35? 
we will put you on hold until the next cohort, which will start 15 weeks the next semester. Okay. Um, also, if individuals are, are not comfortable with, um, they don't feel comfortable with their abilities to start a master's program, let's say to do research or uh, a number of other issues you may not feel comfortable with, we will be offering a, um, a prep course, a prep course. So you, you want to kind of prep yourself uh, before you start the master's program, um, then we will, we will uh, do the prep course. Now, in the prep course, if uh, just because you successfully complete the prep course does not mean you're going to get accepted into the master's program. Okay, it's just a prep course. Okay, so it, it doesn't, there's no automatic um, acceptance into the master's program. I just want to be clear on that. All right, so one more time um, for those who didn't get it or I was not clear. In order to be accepted in this program, you must have a 2.75 GPA from your undergraduate degree the last 60 hours for the master's in ESOL. For the master's in educational leadership and management, you need a 2.5 the last 60 credit hours. Okay. If you have, if you took our TESOL course and you have a T and you successfully completed it, you do not have to prove your English competency. If you or if you have a CELTA, if you um, did not do not have a TESOL or a CELTA, you need a 79 on the TOEFL or 6.5 on the OWLS. Okay, and. And you will also have to write a personal statement addressing reasons for being interested in both programs. So you have to write an essay uh, telling us why you're interested in both programs. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Okay. You will turn those packet. Basically, what will happen is everyone that's, that's interested will send me an email stating, uh, writing the email of. Um, of uh, the expressing interest in uh, applying for the master's degree program and from that point I will schedule a date where we can start working on your on your uh, packets on your admission packets okay um, and we I will do that with you one-on-one -on -one. okay so you'll come to our office and we will start working on your admissions pa uh, packet one-on-one -on -one, getting all the required documents you need together okay so we'll do that one-on-one -on -one. Uh, from that point if we have 40 people interested and they meet the minimum requirements we will select the academic partnership will select the top 35 or uh, the best 35 out of that group out of that cohort they will start the remaining five people will be put on hold um, if something happens and one of the 35 cannot complete the course or start the course, um, um, then we will uh, submit your, your packet for admissions. Um, now, that, that brings another question. When will the, start, the course start? The course will officially start on January the 8th, 2016. January the 8th, 2016. All right? So that actually begs another question how much does the master's degree cost well the master's degree costs a, a total of two hundred and eighty seven dollars and seven cents per credit hour okay now for those who are not familiar with American programs this means for every credit hour you have to pay two hundred and eighty seven dollars and seven cents this means if you're taking a three credit course you have to pay two eighty seven oh seven times three which would be I probably should have did this before which would be give me one second Find my calculator. So two eighty seven oh 
seven times three is eight hundred and sixty one dollars and twenty one cents. So eight hundred and sixty one dollars and twenty one cents per three credit class. Now some classes may be one credit, and these are normally labs, one or two credits. So if a, let's say you're taking a lab, the lab may be one credit, which would mean you would you would pay two eighty seven oh seven for that one credit. If it's two credits, it's times two. Some classes may even be four credits, meaning there's a class and a lab attached to the class. So that means you will pay 287.07 times 4. All right. Now, let me tell you that 287.07 is extremely cheap for an American degree. This means that if you are taking... Let's say you're taking the master's in ESOL. And remember, the master's in ESOL is a total of 36 credit hours. That means you're paying the university $10,334.52 plus fees uh, for your master's degree. That is is extremely cheap extremely cheap there's some master's programs that go for as much as a hundred thousand uh, master's degree go programs that go for twenty five thousand thirty thousand ten thousand dollars for a master's degree is extremely cheap now unlike our TESOL course it, it works totally different okay in our TESOL course we always take payments while you sit in the course because this is the Fort Hayes State University, all payments for each course you take must be paid before you sit the class. Okay? So, if you're looking to start your master's program with us, okay, start saving your money now. That means for the first class, how much will you need? 287, times 3. That means you need $861.21 for that first class. That comes out to roughly uh, 3,229 reals for that first class. Okay, so if you want to start your master's degree, that's that's what you're going to need for that first class. Okay, okay, um, but we're offering a accredited degree from a hundred plus euro university for a, a little bit over ten thousand dollars okay now let's go back to emissions the the cost for the emissions process will be fifty dollars so you must put fifty dollars in the uh, as an application fee the other the other fees that you will have will be uh, a fifty a, a one time fifty dollar graduation fee once you get to that point, so when you're about to graduate, you have to take a, a uh, you have to give Fort Hayes State a fifty dollar graduation fee. Okay. Now the other fees that the academic partnership, in order to host the program here in Saudi Arabia, um, per class there'll be a fee of five hundred reals per class. All right. So you have to pay the academic. You have to pay Fort Hayes State. First, their their fees, their two eighty seven oh seven per uh, semester credit hour uh, for per class. So if it's again, if it's uh, if it's uh, one class, one three credit class, you have to be prepared to pay them eight hundred sixty one dollars. And then for every class that you take, it'll be a five hundred real. Um, 500 real uh, fee for from the academic partnership uh, so we can host the program for you okay and again that's the, we have to charge that because of space we have to charge you for the space and technology and all that good stuff the only other thing that you would look to have to pay would be for textbooks and again some in some instances in some instances 
textbooks may be free. They may not be free. That depends on the professor. It depends on what textbooks you have to use. Um, but we will help you with the logistics on getting the textbooks. All right. And as, as much as we possibly can, we will off. We will try to get you free books if we can. If we can electronically. If we can. Okay. Um, the other another advantage that you may that you may want to take advantage of, or another opportunity that you may want to take advantage of, is actually going to Fort Hayes State for a class or two. Let's say it's the summertime. You figure you want to take some classes um, in person at Fort Hayes State. There is an opportunity, and if you enroll, Fort Hayes State will offer you the I twenty. Um, and again, in that case, you would have to pay. Um, the non-resident fee uh, to do uh, to do face-to-face -face classes only if the classes are available okay because sometimes the classes in this course is not available on campus so it all depends but there is an opportunity to actually uh, go to Fort Hay State and actually take face-to-face -face classes um, and, you know it may be a week you know a summer vacation or you may be just going to America. You may be moving to America. So that will be an opportunity. Okay. All right. So let's let's just kind of review what we talked about because uh, we talked about a lot. Okay. So just to review, Fort Hay State University is offering a master's degree program. All right. With the you can choose or select for teachers for classroom teachers, a master's in ESOL, for principals, a master's in leadership and education leadership and management. Okay? For the master's in ESOL, it will take 36 credit hours. For the master's in education leadership management, it will take 31. The cost of the credit hours is $287.00 seven cents per credit hours all right uh, in order to uh, compete or apply you must meet the minimum standards for the masters at ESOL you must have your last 60 credit hours must be uh, uh, must average out to be 2.75 for the mass for the masters in uh, education leadership and management the last 60 credit hours must be 2.5 okay you must show official transcripts you must uh, and you must show English competency if you're not a native English speaker if you took our TESOL course you do not have to show competency competency if you have a CELTA you do not have to show competency the other ways to show incompetency is having by scoring a what was it by scoring a 79 on TOEFL or a 6.5 on ours. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is plus nine six six five four zero zero three nine seven seven. If you have any additional questions, please give me send me a, a, your questions on WhatsApp, or you can send your questions via email at Raynor Roberts. That's R A Y N O R R O B E R T S at calltoenglish.com, or you can send your questions through, via our website at www.calltoenglish.com. Hopefully this session was informative. Please feel free to watch it as many times uh, to reconfirm anything I've said. Please feel free to send me a WhatsApp message or email or send a message through our website. Again, if you're interested, please send me an email, not a WhatsApp. Please send me an email expressing interest. I will set up an appointment with you so we can start your admissions process. Okay, I did not see this, but the admissions packets have to be completed by October the 15th. They have to be completed by October the 15th. Okay, we look forward to talk to talking to you. We, we look forward to offering this 
outstanding and awesome opportunity to educate us here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, especially in the cities of Daman and Riyadh. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.